Hello everyone. So today we will see what is nested functions. As you already know and you have already seen what is nested loop. In same way we can create functions. Those functions can be defined inside another functions. So the functions which are defined inside another function is called nested functions. Let us see with one example. If I have a function outer, its work is to just print in outer function. If I want to run this function, I will just write outer and then braces. Then I will execute it. So my output will be in outer function. If I want to create another function I and I want to create some function with the name inner and I want to create that function inside this function then I can create with that function with name inner in inner function and if I execute it because I am only calling outer function it is printing the output of outer function if I want to call inner function I can call this after this print statement inner and if I run this function then see what is the out what is the problem okay so it is saying local variable in a reference before assignment what happened the program started from here and it went to inner but when the inner was called the function inner was not defined so fine we will create an inner function then we will call this function inner Now you can see my output is in outer function then in inner function. I have ca called outer after defining outer function and I called inner from within the outer function. Let us try to call inner function from the outside of outer function. You can see I am getting one error. The error is inner is not defined. That means we can access inner function inside the outer function only. This is called scope of an object. That means we can call inner function within the outer function only because the inner is defined within outer so to call the inner function we have, we have to call outer then from inside the outer function we have to call inner function then only it will run So this is an example of nested function. Also we saw something called scope here. So in the next video we will discuss what is scope of a python object. So this is it for this video. We will meet in next video. If you have any doubt you can ask me in the comment section. Thank you.